There's been a lot of talk about social networking and user-generated everything. And I always like to remind people that, you know, probably uh, the place that user-generated content got started was on places like CNET and technology sites. User reviews and user content is as well-read and as informative and viewed as reliable as our own professional content. Think about yourself. When you're on the site and you're looking at a review on a Panasonic 50-inch TV, tell me the person who put 150 words that just put $5,000 of their own money up on CNET to tell you what their experience isn't something you'd be interested in. So there's real efficacy and a real belief that we have to continue to drive volumes of user-generated content because our audience is trusted. They actually want to hear from people like them in the community that have gone through the experience as much as they want to hear from us as professional content builders. So our strategy on CNETTV.com is actually threefold. Number one, do a better job of aggregating all of the video content that's available on the site in one place around a metaphor that people understand and make it searchable. Because right now, the, the video assets, they're all over the site. They're in reviews, they're in news, they're in downloads. At least there's one place, if you want to go to see everything that's on CNET, that's what CNETTV.com will do. The second, and I think equally important piece, video is a great way to break through navigational issues and UI issues on the web. We're all struggling with the same thing. We have too much information on our sites. How the hell do we get people to understand what's there and why they should care? Video is a great way to basically make them aware of uh, what's actually on the network. Well, I'm stealing a page from TV. You never watch a television program that isn't telling you what's on next or barking to you in terms of what's on primetime that Saturday night. We're actually trying to adopt a lot of those practices on CNET and, and with CNETTV.com. Well, you know, the, the reason we're so excited about video on demand is it is an opportunity for cable operators and hopefully in the future satellite providers to offer more choices to consumers. And it is literally an opening up of the cable pipe and the, and the satellite pipe, which had been largely dominated and restricted by the A&Es, the discoveries, the scripts of the world, to allow new channels to birth against, frankly, reasonably low-cost distribution models. Because historically, you had to pay big money to get distribution and carriage on cable operators and satellite providers. And with VOD, they're not actually looking for license fees as much as they're looking for revenue share and, frankly, new services to prevent digital churn.